Now if you take a look from over where you're at, you could probably see just how screwed up this body line is. I got my jack, oh now I can see how screwed up that paint is. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Oh, stop touching it, stop touching it, stop touching it. All right, don't touch it, just leave it alone. Okay, now you can see how screwed up this body line is. What I'm gonna do is jack up the body. Well, one side. I'm gonna jack up the cab and I'm gonna get this body line straightened out. And of course I'm gonna have to do that on both sides. And then we can go ahead and make our new cab mounts. I don't know about you, but I think that's starting to look a lot better right there. Yep, that there looks a lot better. Let's go jack the other side up and see if that makes this one worse. All right, now that everything's out of my way, I can get some work done, perhaps. Whoa! We got some of that plastic crap melted on my torch, making a real mess. I'm gonna melt it off. That little hissing noise you hear is acetylene spraying out the tip of my torch there. There we go. Now, let me see. I want to get this out of my way. Ah! It's got sprayed. You know what I got sprayed by? There's still a little water coming out the back corner of the cab there where I soaked it down. I want to get this out of my way. So let's just do that. Who cares how? Now one of the things that I like to do while I'm working is listen to good quality music. Now that good quality music is not easy to come by because if you go to any of the places where music traditionally comes from, it comes with a whole lot of nonsense. You know what I mean? You can turn on the radio, but if you're lucky enough to get the radio to, to find some stuff that you want to listen to, They'll eventually fill your ears every 10 minutes or so with some nonsense on some stuff you didn't want to hear about, like quarter pounders with cheese, stuff like that. And I'm not loving it. So I don't want to listen to the commercials. So then you can get these other things that you're already paying for with your internet service and that sort of thing. And you can listen to music that way. But then you put in what you want to listen to and then they put that on once, and then they mix it up with things that you never asked for. And I find this very irritating. And the whole time, I'm just wondering why I can't just listen to what I want to listen to. So then, you can give some other people a whole bunch of money, and they'll give you the stuff that you want to listen to. And you'll have it on your phone, or your device, or thing, and you can listen to it whenever you want, unless you're listening to me listen to it. And then that is no longer acceptable. And I don't know why this body now won't come off. But what I don't understand is if I paid for it and I'm listening to it, why can't you listen to me listen to it? Don't make any sense to me. It's just noise. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to make my own. Well, I used to know a dog, but he turned into a frog, and now I gotta find a new friend. Cause frogs aren't your friends, they're not dogs you see. You can't bring them home, and they won't climb your tree. Oh, Down my shirt. Ow. Ow. That went in my hood. Eventually, we're going to get to the weld here. I don't know where it is. I wonder if it's welded on that side. Doesn't really look like it.
try hitting it with a hammer. Spray some oxygen at that. All right, that didn't work. That just made a firework show. Let's get this thing out of here. So I don't have to worry about breathing this stuff in it. Well, by the time I figure out how to cut this thing off, it's basically going to be burned away. Hmm. Well, there goes that. And that is how you very carefully remove a body mount. The sun's gone down long ago, and I'm still out here, don't you know? I need to stop reading children's books. Or maybe I need to read more. One or the other. Either way, the sun has gone down a long time ago, and here I am, still working at this. Sometimes I don't move along as fast as I'd like, but I try. I really try. It's just, I've gotten myself into one of those pickles again here where I just want to keep cutting, and I can't stop. I just want to take everything off. I don't want to leave it. So what I've got here is a big hole in my cab floor. As you can see, my hand coming through. I just didn't like the way it was designed. What happened was, once I discovered the trap door, I opened it up and there was a dip down and the cab mount, of course it was a saggy cab mount, so the, that means either the, the bushing had, had sagged. And then that leads me to why is the cab on the bushings in the first place? Well, because the frame flexes and when the frame flexes, you wanna be able to open your doors and your hood and stuff. So they allow the cab to flex and the whole thing's like riding on a boat. That sounds nice, but do we really need all that? All right, I might add a little bit of rubber, but I sure don't want to. Metal on metal, that's the way I ride. Okay, it works on the bed and the tailgate still open, so then why wouldn't it work on the cab? Anyway, here we go. I have removed the indentated rear cab mount. Cut it off with my torch nice and cleanly. I've made a new one out of quarter inch plate. And this piece of plate will slide right in here and replace. All right, so it might take two hands to get it in there. Look at that, I did it. That piece of plate will slide in there, get fully welded all around become the new, stronger, more improved, better cab mount. But more importantly, the old one was sunk down in a hole. And for me to be able to build a hoop around the back of the seats that would be able to be removable, it wouldn't be able to mount flush to the cab mount like I wanted it to. So I've made it like this so that when I make a hoop for the back of the seats, I can put a plate on the bottom that will bolt through my body mount bolts, which will have a tube going down directly to the frame. So my roll cage will be directly through to the main frame rails, but also bolted in and removable. It's a little bit more than I do with anything that's mine. I would just weld it down, but I suppose we could throw a few bolts in it. It looks real good, look at it. Wow, amazing, I'm excited and I'm ready to weld it in. 
I've got to go over there and torch the other side out, but this is nice. I like it. I think I've done a very nice job. <sighs> Maybe I need to cut more stuff out. We'll see. Thanks for watching. There's something you don't hear often enough. You hear a whole lot of these people on the internet who are just complainy pants. I read in the comments that you said that my truck was a turd and I'm not a turd, you're a turd. Well, you know what, buddy? Screw you. Stop complaining about what you don't have or what people say you don't have or what people say you might have and be a little bit more thankful. I'm very thankful for you. Thanks for watching. I'll keep doing my best to entertain you while I work as much as I can. Does that make any sense? It makes sense in my head.